So the biggest problem that busy executives face one, they do not have a plan that is built for them. You see, as a busy executive who's working 11, 12, 13 hour days on a regular basis, you have higher stress levels and different demands on your schedule than somebody who's making up a routine for somebody who might work half as much as what you do with half the amount of stress. So you need something that's gonna be customized to you. Number two, you need to have a specific plan going in. You see, meal prep during a week works because you don't have to make a decision. You just eat the food that was already in front of you. But let's think, if you go to a bar, and you've got drinks in front of you, and then you see a full menu full of cheese fries, onion rings, all that great stuff. Do you have a plan, or are you just gonna reach for whatever you did before? You see, go in ahead of time looking at a menu or looking at an activity and plan what your food choices can be ahead of time will keep you on track during the weekends. Number three, justification. A lot of people will justify eating junk food, going out and drinking more because everybody else is doing it. In fact, we're tribal creatures. We want to be able to fit in. However, you have to remember that the majority of people are not happy with the way that they look. They're not happy with the way that they perform. And if you're a high performer, you want to meet your potential. So in order to meet that potential, you don't need the justification of anybody else. You need to keep laser focused on what you want to accomplish. So don't let that justification seep in that, everybody else is doing it, will hold yourself to a higher standard and take yourself to that next level. Number four, setting boundaries or hard limits. So here's something that I do. I'm going to a birthday party later on today. It's gonna to be at a pool, it's gonna be fun, but there's gonna be lots of barbecue and there's gonna be lots of booze. So setting limitation in terms of certain foods that you're gonna be having, for example, you can only have two cheeseburgers instead of five, or you set maybe a five drink limit for the week and stick within that boundary. For example, I'll use a five drink limit throughout the week so I can still go out, I can have a cocktail, a glass of wine, socialize. If I need to do a business dinner, I can still fit in and do those components, but I set a boundary to stay within those lines. And then. Finally, number five, discipline and accountability. You see, at the end of the day, discipline is going to bring you through to the end. And you're an extraordinarily disciplined professional already when it took the steps that you needed to get to where you are professionally. So you have that hardware, you have that wired into you already, and now it's just gonna be a matter of applying that directly to your fitness. But if you need that additional step of accountability, having somebody to hold you to that standard that you want to achieve to become the best version of yourself, then that's exactly where a coach like I or anybody else within the Bach Performance Program can come to help you. So if you want to talk specifically about getting the accountability and the structured plan that you need to not backslide on weekends, all you need to do is click on my picture and send me a message and we'll talk about how to help. Otherwise, let me know what would be your next tip in order to stay on track through the weekend. Comment below and I'll chat to you there.